It's the time. Right, this next guy I want to bring to the stage, he's one of my favorites. I know you guys are going to really enjoy him. Ladies and gentlemen, the hilarious Sean Roscoe Adams. Let him hear it. Let's begin. Let's start, let's start off. All right. So let's see. I am so jacked up on Starbucks, and uh, and it's very it's it's a lot to handle. Is this right? We're good. All right. It's gonna, it's gonna be like that Catholic time of thing. Anyways, Father Porter, I remember him. All right. Anyways, that's called not knowing what you're talking about. All right. Anyways, so. I just had so much Starbucks or whatever, and it's so, it's, I've got like, I've, like, what is it made of? It's made of sugar, water, and shame, and diabetes, and you know, don't drink too much, Wes. All right. Anyways, so anyways, I'm like glazing or whatever. I have like jawbreaker balls. It's great. It's just a lot of fun. Um, where was the Brazilian woman? Yeah, I got your peach. Um, anyway, so I just got done with a date rape. I just, I just wrapped up a little sore. Um, now I got, I'm a little itchy too. It was like Star Wars. They were like right in there. They're like, nur, 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 nur. those Jedi's there. Well, they were really Jedi's. They're more like cops. But um, <laughs> they didn't do a damn thing. Manatee people. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> someone's in the audience. Hi, Dad. All right. Um, works for the sheriff deputy. All right. So anyways, my act tonight for you all coming to this show. You're you're, you're on the list. Um, it's gonna be kind of like being molested. It's, um, it's going to be kind of like, oh, you know what you could do to, um, to like, was it to go to a safe place or whatever, you know, like me and the date rape. <laughs> you, could, um, you could go to a, a share concert, you know. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, believe or whatever. Or, or, oh my gosh, I know, oh, I'm stepping all over your laughter. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I'm on the edge of the stage. Um, or you could go to a Celine Dion performance. Bonjour, ça va? Je suis Céline Dion. That is right. Canadian songbird Céline Dion. Every day we wake up and we make lesson and fromage. And I have the playtime with Le Tepernichos. Let's move on. Okay. Anyway, so my name is Sean Roscoe. Uh, you, how can you remember that? Oh, Sean Roscoe's, well, Roscoe's chicken and waffles because black people think that chicken go with waffles. <laughs> And they're right. I mean, yeah. And uh, I see you. I see you. Pitch black, but I can see that floating shirt. Um, anyway, speaking. I'll wait. The audience is now heckling themselves. Okay. Um, anyway, so I have this racist father. He's out loud and proud. He's out of the racist closet. Well, it's like a... It's like a red barn, or it's like, and then they all wear like these dunce cappy things. It's not even Halloween yet, and they look like ghosts, but I get it. Um, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do, the out-of-work comedian. Um, anyway, so anyway, so like every now and then I'll call my dad, and we have the best relationship. Ha, be jealous. Um, I'll call up, and I'll be like, hey, dad, it's me. And he's like, how'd you get this number? And he hangs up on me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> And so, uh, so I uh, can't tell him this because I just became a proud parent of a black baby boy. Um, you're not going to clap for me? Racist. I might not look like I can handle the chocolate love, but uh, hmm, all right. I've been to Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta. <laughs> so... <laughs> Again, <laughs> so anyway, so, so his name is, um, his name, it's, I just picked him off Craigslist, um, oh, his name's Devon, kind of, it's spelled like divine, because black people do that to their names, I hope he doesn't ask me too many questions, <laughs> question, do you think he'll talk loudly in movie theaters, I don't know, I don't know, um, all right, so for uh, my, I talked to my mom for this next bit, and uh, I asked her, I was like, Mom, do you have any stories that are really interesting and funny? She's like, well, let me do the voice because it's much more funnier. Well, um, there's this one, all right, it's, it's kind of funny, and uh, it's about a gynecologist and this woman. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, Brazilian lady, listen up. Okay. 
I'm good, right? All right. <laughs> I've done this before <laughs> in the shower. Um, all right. <laughs> anyway, so there's like this. All right. So what had happened was is the, uh, the okay. So the woman was getting ready to go to her gynecologist visit or whatever. I don't really know what goes on there. I assume it's like peeling like an onion. But anyways. <laughs> So what happened is, is like the, uh, the, the guy, or the woman, she's like, all right, she, she mowed and raked and whatever, and then, um, I, don't, I don't know, and um, I, I mean, I love the vagina, I haven't seen one yet, waiting until I'm getting married, ooh. And so, anyway, so uh, what happens is, is she goes to spray something, I guess she thought it was for brief. anyways, uh, so she gets like her daughter's glitter thing, and she goes, she's like, and like, you know, pixies are flying, and she's, whatever, she doesn't know, whatever, okay. And it's, real, it's a true story. Mom, isn't it true? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> So what happens is, is the woman goes to the gynecologist's office or whatever, and then she props up, and so <laughs> the guy was like, oh, <laughs> pretty. <laughs> Speaking of dark tunnels. I ran into, um, all right, this is, this, this, this is going to take like 30 seconds, um, flashlight guy. Okay, so what happens is, is I'm in orchestra or whatever, and then this girl, this Jewish girl sits next to me, and then we're talking about holidays, and she's like, well, Christmas is coming up, and it's a pagan holiday. I'm like, what the, anyways, I don't know what that word means, but I don't like it. Anyways, so what happens is, is so she's like, what the pagan holiday, and then this one guy goes, when are we going to have our concert? And then she's like this, she's like, well, we're going to have it on Veterans, no, we're, we're going to have Veterans Day or whatever. And so I was like, oh, which is a myth. And then so she's like, no, it's not a myth or whatever. I go, kind of like the Holocaust. <laughs> Bam! I cannot do better than you, Sarah. So <laughs> have a great night and tip your waiters. And good job being molested. Woo! What's your name? What's your name? Who's your daddy?